Hello and welcome back to another We Board Laws Online. My name is Lydia and every Friday morning I will be bringing you stories, crafts and rhymes based on something from our museum collection. So last week our theme was sailing and we made a lovely paper boat based on our paper boat by George Wiley in our collection. So this week we're going to be adding more to your mini ward law collection that you can make yourself. So our theme this week is dressing up. So we have lots of things in our collection that you could use for dress up, like the gowns that we looked at in the first We Ward Laws. And we also have this Korean mask, which has been used for hundreds of years in dance and dramas. People use them to dress up and act out different characters in different stories. So this week I thought we could add to our collection a mask inspired by this Korean mask in our collection. So I have made a fancy mask like this. So we're going to have a go at making your own mask that you could decorate any way you like. So here is how I did it. I've just got some plain paper and I've just drawn out the mask shape that I want. So all I'm gonna do is cut that out now. So get some scissors, get some help from a grown up if you need. And we're just gonna quickly cut out the mask shape. Like so. And you could make it a different shape if you want. You don't have to do the one that I did. You could use the mask I just showed you as inspiration to make anything you like. So I'm just doing a simple one just to show you. So now we have this, but oh, I can't see anything. So we need to make some eye holes, don't we? So get a grown up to help you with this because it's a bit tricky. What I'm going to do is make a little hole in the eyes so that I can get my scissors in there and cut them out. So then you have to be very careful to cut quite neatly and make your eye holes for your mask so you can see out of it because that would be quite handy wouldn't it? Still can't see out of this one though, so I better do that one as well. Like so. Snip, snip, snip. Okay, that's more like it, isn't it? So then I've made two little holes in the side here, and I've just got some string that you can tie around it so you can actually wear your mask. And I'm just going to make a knot like this and pull it tight so you have your little string like that and then you can do it on the other side and then you can tie it around and wear it however you like. So there you have your mask base with your ties. So the one I made, I decorated, made it quite fancy and spangly like this. Got some nice feathers, got some lovely sequins around the eyes, be all sparkly. So you could make your mask look any way you like. You could make it into a superhero mask or a fancy one like this in a theatre. And then maybe you could use it to make up a play or dress up like the Korean mask would be used for. So if you make a lovely mask, please make sure to send us pictures of it and we could share it on the next reward laws. So if you email your photos to museumlearning at st-andrews.ac.uk, then we might show them on our reward laws next week. So now it's time for our story and it's about a little girl who likes dressing up. A little girl was bored one day. She was cooped up indoors. She wanted an adventure. So she started going through cupboards and drawers. 
because when you're stuck at home, what are you to do? She ran around the house, finding things to dress up into. She looked for a bedsheet that was a square shape and wrapped it around her to make a superhero cape. Then she stuck an ice cream cone on her head like a horn and pranced around like she was a unicorn. She found a long bit of string and turned it into a toy, swinging it like a lasso around her head like a cowboy. Rummaging through the toolbox, she found a spanner and a wrench, fixing things and pretending she was at a mechanic's workbench. She grabbed some curtain ties that she had to hand and turned them into a kung fu fighter belt and headband. Catching a glimpse of herself in the mirror, the girl fell over with laughter. Wearing all her dress up at once, she couldn't have looked much dafter. She put on her favourite clothes and put everything back on its shelf and decided that most of all, she likes to dress up as herself. So before we go, I think it's time for our song. I thought we could sing a nursery rhyme about the sun dressing up. The sun has got his hat on, hip 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 hooray. The sun has got his hat on and he's coming out today. Now everybody's happy, hip 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 hooray. The sun has got his hat on and he's coming out to play. Nice singing everyone, as usual. So that's all we have time for for We Will Doors this week. Send us your photos of your fancy masks. I'd love to see them. And I'll see you again next week. See you later.